Hello, I'm Leslie Coughlin, Prevention and Outreach Coordinator at YWCA Greenwich. And one of the things I miss most about going to work at the YW each day is our intergenerational community of members and staff. Programs like preschool, day camp, fitness, and aquatics attract a membership ranging from seniors to toddlers and everything in between. This diverse member family is on display year round, interacting by the pool, uh, in the meeting rooms and the front desk. And you can regularly find our older adult members swimming laps, playing bridge, taking exercise classes, or just chatting with friends at our Curry's Cafe. But now the very thing that makes this intergenerational component so beneficial for the entire YWCA membership family poses a particular risk to our oldest members. In fact, across the country, Many of the places so vital to the social and emotional health of seniors, like libraries, senior centers, and YWCAs are closed due to COVID-19. And while social distancing is imperative for the physical safety of older adults, it runs completely counter to the messages that they've received about the importance of regular socialization and the dangers of isolation and loneliness. So we know that feeling connected, supported, and engaged are vital components of well-being for all of us, but especially as we age. So I'm going to give you a few guidelines on how to maintain a sense of well-being during COVID-19, especially for older adults. First, try to remember that staying home right now is not inaction. It's action. You're doing your part. Second, uh, ask for help and be honest about how you're feeling physically and mentally and what your needs are. Try not to wait until you run out of supplies. Uh, let someone know if you need food, medication, or household items. And if you're not feeling well, tell a friend, a family member, a neighbor, and of course, call 911 in an emergency. Keep in contact with loved ones over the phone or try new technology. 90-year-olds are FaceTiming and Zooming right now, and maybe you can too. Reach out to connect by phone or email to your house of worship. Make sure they know if you're alone or feeling isolated. A congregation can be an excellent support system. Help someone else. Check on a neighbor or friend by phone to see how they're doing. It'll make you feel better as well. People of all ages should get dressed each day and try to follow a routine that engages us both physically and mentally. It just makes us feel better. Exercise to your ability. Try chair yoga, gentle stretching, walking, even if it's inside your own home. Just make sure to move each day. Try, and I know this one is hard, to live day to day. Don't catastrophize and let your mind wander to the worst case scenario. Try not to watch too much television, particularly news, which can amplify our fears. Maybe try to pick one time a day to catch up on the day's events and listen to music or audiobooks throughout the day instead. Try to do something creative, knit, needlepoint, draw, paint, write a story, or start a gratitude journal. Take an online class. If you can, many colleges and adult schools are offering them for free right now. And finally, contact your local senior center for resources and virtual programs. Right now, the Greenwich Commission on Aging, in partnership with Greenwich Country Day School, is offering Connect, a free program to socially connect you to people and things you'll enjoy right from the comfort of your own home. All you need is a computer, tablet, or just a phone to access their 30-minute sessions on a variety of topics and other programs too. Connect can help you meet local students, teachers, artists, reconnect with old friends, and maybe make some new ones too. For more information about this program, you can call 203-863-5653, leave your name and phone number, and someone will get back to you. Be safe, stay well, and thanks for watching this video.